Can you believe it's been two years? I certainly can, it fits my track record really well. So welcome back to Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. Though uh, you may notice a few things different really quickly here right off the bat. First up, we're not actually playing Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. We're playing OpenRCT2, the open source clone of the original game. You may notice one other thing here. It's running on Linux, which I have, re which I have uh, come to learn is far superior to Windows. Now, this time I actually have a valid excuse for being gone for two years, but I'll get to that in a little bit. But in short, I wasn't able to use the internet or, well, no, I was able to use the internet a little bit, but I wasn't able to get to any of my files or anything. And uh, for the second time in this series, I've lost the save file I was working on. Which is really tragic, because I was really enjoying the, uh, the, uh, um, transformation scenario we were doing. But before I get into details, let's go ahead and get started on something. Now, it auto-organizes all the game, or all the scenarios into their own games, including the Roller Coaster Tycoon scenarios if you own that. But, uh, today we're gonna, I think today we're just going to start from the beginning, like the Let's Play probably should have. Urban Incognitus, the Romans have tired of boarding gladiator fights. Give them a better thrill. Turn the Roman city into the greatest amusement park of all time. Time. Cafe UCES scenario. Now, there's actually a... Uh, I'll get to that in a second. So, we're going to go ahead and start building our park here. Now, one thing we're going to notice right off the bat is that uh, we got a lot of space over here. While the scenery looks good... We don't want guests wandering all over the park. So, we're going to preemptively stick some signs in here to help prevent that. Go ahead and unpause this. Uh, gonna no entry that sign. No entry that sign. That'll keep everyone relatively in the same area. For the most part, in the same area. Now. Let's go ahead and get building some rides here. So we have a crooked house and a crooked house, merry-go-round, and a car ride. Yes, I get that says ball play area, but uh, it's functionally a crooked house. Hmm. Ooh, we only have a twist. Let's get going on this immediately. We want more thrill rides with maximum funding. Now let's get actually to the ride development before uh, before the game starts getting mad at us. Going for the classic merry-go-round strategy here. S strategy, yes. That's what we're going to call it. It's the merry-go-round strategy. I really hope that, uh... I've not actually recorded very much. This is the uh, first actual video I'm doing. I just bought a new laptop after getting home. Which I should probably get around to talking about. But, uh... First thing I'm recording on it. I've done a few tests, but... Aside from that, I haven't done... Oh no. Oh no, this is a pay for entry park. That's why I never did this. Okay, well. We're gonna have to try this. I have not actually played with paid entry parks before. Well, I have. And I've always lost. We can do this. Challenge here, to what I understand, is going to be funding. So we're going to knock out some 11% per year. That's I don't know if that's higher than the usual rate, but it's not a rate I want to pay. So you know what? We're going to do that. And because our funding isn't dependent on a uh, because our funding isn't dependent on people getting on our rides, but people entering the park, I guess it would be okay if we open up the park for access. Oh, uh, it's around here somewhere. Fine. Oh, what the... Sign, I'm clicking on you. Sign. 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 Now, this game's still being developed, so, uh... Or the... Clone is still being developed. OpenRCT2 is being developed, so we might come across some glitches like that. But no problem. Now what we can get profit out of, he said, trying to get this sign to select, is stands. So what we're going to actually want a lot is rain. 
Hmm. Yeah, it should be okay. Should be okay. Okay, fine. Watch this. Take that. Deal with it. Now, the reason I wasn't... Uh, 7,000 hours. Yeah, we're going to start building a roller coaster. Oh, what to build, what to build. Uh, we've got it, we're gonna do this. Now, so I think... No, it's not there. A lot of uh, rides, oh, I know a ride that has it. The uh, boat hire here has uh, different, uh, different uh, themes you can use. I know I've talked about this in the Let's Play before. But it has pre-built scenery specifically for the scenario. Not sure where in fact... Oh, probably right over here. Which looks good, but we're not going to build that yet. We don't have the funds or the pathing over there to get it dealt with. But we're going to build... Could get a lot... Well, no. Log flumes are great for profit and pay for entry parks. Uh, we're going to go... We're going to go Junior Roller Coaster. I know we always do Junior Roller Coaster in the beginning. And that's because they're cheap and best. Would this be a good place? Yeah, this would be fine. Should be fine. I don't see any of this going wrong. So. Now we're finally off doing something. Let me go ahead and go up a little bit here. We're going to go with the... Uh, Raising of the hill. And off we go. So, the reason I wasn't able to, uh, the reason I haven't been uploading for two years, my actual excuse this time, I don't think I've ever outright said this on the channel before, though there probably were some hints. I remember I watched a few of my old videos, and I remember at one point the, uh, the screen glitched out and it showed our background, which gave it away. Granted, I hope you guys didn't see that video, cause I made that when I was uh, made that when I was a freshman in high school. Back when all of my videos were incredibly terrible. I think I talked about this last episode. I don't know how I remember that, but I do. Anyway, so I've been yeah, I've been gone for two years, serving an LDS mission. You know the uh, the Mormons. You gotta know the Mormons. The ones who knock on your doors. Yeah, I was doing that. I was doing that over in India. The city of Bengaluru. Uh, which most people know as Bangalore. And also just all over South India. Which was... It was a great time. Though I wasn't... I was a little sad I couldn't update my YouTube channel or anything. Missionaries aren't allowed to use... Social functions on the internet. Like, uh... Like YouTube. Which is a little difficult if you want to run a, quote, successful, close quote, YouTube channel. But you know what? As we say there, no problem, brother. So that's where I've been. Uh, goodness, our park rating's going. No, guests are going down. Park rating. Is our park rating going down? It's been uh, about the same. Okay, guests will listen to... Why are you leaving the park? You want to go home? Great scenery. But why? What are your thoughts? Yeah, of course merry-go-round is a really good value. Okay, now we actually have some stuff here. Oh, it is $10. Man, I could charge $10 for a roller coaster in the normal game, though. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We just finished a lift hill. I hope we have funding for this. We have another three thousand dollars to work with. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and build a turn here because we're not going super fast. This shouldn't be terrible. It'll just add to the excitement a little bit. Hmm. I should put some block breaks on somewhere. That could be the first after ride. This is the block break. Put a block break at the end. And we can do one more somewhere. Yeah, we should do that. We're gonna go down here. 
We're gonna take this and we're gonna go over the entrance to the park. That'll look cool. Yeah, is it a whole... Do we have... Boosters? That was in the original game. They had a lot of uh, features back that weren't in the original game in uh, OpenRCT2. Gonna do some coasting around here. We'll go around the merry-go-round a little bit. Hopefully that won't impede our progress of building other rides. Now if our, uh, if our station exit entrance, the getting back into the station was there, this would be perfect, but uh, it isn't. We're actually going to have some really good speed here. So I think these hills would be pretty fun. And we'll have a little under... Okay, looks like I already built something there. Can we go down? Yes. You know, we're going to have a little underground section here. Go. Oh, I'm going to be so sad if this video doesn't work. Because it's always, like, the biggest fear I have in the Let's Play, because... Because none of... Not, not none of my videos work ever work, but, uh... I've had many, many occasions where either the microphone wasn't turned on or plugged in, or the recording software didn't work with Windows XP, because I recorded on Windows... Well, back when I started this Let's Play, Windows XP was relevant. Uh, we're going to go straight here a little bit more. This... Tell me I need a razor lower land, so this had better be inside the park. If it's not game, if it's not, come on, there we go, okay good, it is inside the park, gonna, hey my phone just went off, no problem, okay gonna shift the view here, gonna break, break it down to 13, Lower these down, take a big turn, and block brakes. Now we should be able to have like three cars on this now, which will be good. Entrance is always at the front, exit's always at the back. There we go, three cars. Actually, you know what? We're gonna raise the lift hill speed. Start testing that with our $798. Why are people not... So our guest count has not risen that dramatically. Probably because we're charging $10 for a merry-go-round and a twist at this moment. Should we have just a straight line? We can add another section on right there if we need to later. We can even do a triple section. Now you may notice one of the cool features about this game is if the thing's already connected to a path, if you click on another path, it will hook on, or it will continue to line there. Oh, I don't know if you guys wanted to watch the ride. Well, I guess you can see it here. Um, sorry about that. I'm just going to assume that it's good. Which, you know, not a terrible idea. Maybe, maybe people are leaving because they just don't have anything to do. Maybe we do need to put those signs back. Yeah, you know what? We're going to do that. Because we have, like, empty lines and everything. Put some banners up. No entry on that. Did I, uh, get every way they could get in there? Yes. Well, now I have a solid $613 to work with. So, that's good. $613 and nobody in the park. Let's go ahead and build some shops and stalls here. Roman Lemonade Stand. Actually, wait. Is, I'm sorry, did that say Roman Lemonade Stall 3? Boat hire? Are there already rides in this park? I did not recognize that. Oh, okay, we're going to go with the spread out park layout then. I keep changing my mind on this. But we actually are going to say. Okay, what's 611 up? Oh, 
Why? Why? Look at this, developers. You get your very own, your very own glitch log right here on my YouTube videos. Junior Roller. Oh well, would you look at that? We don't have a path leading from Junior Roller Coaster once. Exit. We're also stuck in underground view. Hey, we're the safest park in the country. Fascinating. What type of pathway is this? No, we'll use it. That looks cool. I like to look at that path. Well, we have at least a couple people on our ride. And our park rating and number of guests is going up. Our funding isn't, but uh, the number of guests are. So good start. Okay, bye, Henry. And so wait, what stalls do we have open? Lemonade, pizza, and t-shirts. They're probably all losing us. Uh, yeah. We're gonna have... Oh, we can quick delete these. I think. Let's delete that. And that. And that. And look at that. We have better funding. $1,500. Um, I don't think anybody's hungry yet. I see the ride did work, so that's good. Uh, let's see... Pizza for Roman Pizza Stall 1 is a really good value. Perfect. Where's Roman Pizza Stall 1? The problem with the look, although it fits in, is uh, it can't tell where it is. Oh, looks like we can charge uh, a little more for that. And we're going to build a few more stalls and probably wrap this episode up. But, uh, of course, they give us a ATM immediately in this scenario. Okay, gonna build a restroom. Gonna stick 10 cents on there. I am a terrible person. And we're going to build. Oh, well, how much is the nausea on this ride? It's not terrible. Do we have any staff? I don't think we do. Maybe we'll do that too. The information Kisco. Yeah, that's how I'm pronouncing it. It's clearly Kisco. It's not kiosk, it's Kisco. And uh call it blue umbrellas. And of course, this is actually gonna be important for funding, because the only way you can get money once guests are in the park now is through souvenirs and food and drinks and twenty dollar umbrellas. So is somebody actually buy an umbrella? Stick that the same price, charge 90 cents for a map. And the last thing we'll check is do we have any staff? We're gonna hire one mechanic, which is apparently set to fall automatically, just like in the original game. And one handyman. I'm not sure how long this recording's been going on for, but I sort of want this to be a test episode of sorts. So, uh. We're probably going to call it good here. Well, guys, it's great to be back. The whole 50 of you who are watching and the whole 5 of you who are watching till this point. So we're going to go ahead and cut it off here. Next time, we continue getting funding. See you guys then.